Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 23rd of April, we've got six cracking ITV races on Saturday, a couple from Haydock and Leicester on the flat and four from Sandown's National Hunt closing meeting of the season. Unfortunately, the ground is very much on the quicker side and all tracks and field sizes have rather suffered as a result. Anyway, hopefully you found a couple of winners. We start off with our betting expert, Nat in the three o'clock at Sandown. This is the Bet365 Celebration Chase. A grade one over two miles and really green a team looks the standout choice here. Freshness at this stage of the season can often count for plenty. Paul Nichols going particularly well at the moment after a fairly quiet couple of months. And this one comes here after 76 days off the track. Now he did run badly in Ireland last time out but Brian he had him parked on the worst ground, the soup up the inside of the track. I think you can completely forget that. He was very impressive here last season, jumping superbly under Cobden. I think he'll love this decent spring ground. He's going to take an awful lot of beating. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 332, the Bet365 Gold Cup, a three-mile five stamina test. And I think Kitty's light has been knocking on the door all season. He's been beaten by Cap du Nord and Win My Wings, two stable companions from the brilliant Kristen Williams yard. Kitty's light, I think... Jumping is not her, his most natural strong point. He tends to fiddle the early fences and take a while to warm up, but this three mile five trip, I think will really suit him. And I'm confident he can reverse the form from last time. Jack Tudor in the saddle is a huge plus and Kitty's light seems sure to go close if he can hold his pitch in the first mile or so. The other four ITV races, the 150 at Sandown, a really competitive handicap hurdle over two miles. Well, Tom Lacey's had a really good season and Dibble Decker's improved since going handicapping on his last couple of starts. He's a front runner. He goes with zest. I think he'll improve for this much faster ground and he could take an awful lot of passing if he's able to dictate in this slightly stronger race. Over to Haydock for the 205. Well, Ross Colin, I thought, shaped really well on his first run of the season at Thirsk on ground that was probably soft enough for him. He went off really hard there and got tired over a furlong out. He should come on a ton for that. David O'Mara is in reasonably good form as the flat season gets underway. And this previous course and distance winner has got plenty going for him against rivals who might need the run in the main. Back to Sandown for the 225 Grade 2 Oaksy Chase over two miles six. Well, this is a very disappointing small field, but I've liked Earn River. He was really impressive in winning his first two starts over fences this season. That form, notably, his bit defeat of Beakstown has worked out really well. Now, last time Aintree was gambled on, I think he halved in price from the morning offer, and he was slightly under pressure when falling at the 10th in a very strongly run race hopefully he's none the worse for that it's a trappy race this but I think he's liable to get a positive ride and he loves this sort of ground back to Leicester for the 245 another small field a seven furlong listed contest here well Path of Thunder comes from the red hot Charlie Appleby yard I think he's averaging about 56% in the last fortnight Charlie Appleby absolutely flying with everything he runs and this useful performance should be fit from a profitable winter in Maydarn best of luck with all six ITV races on Saturday betting experts.